Well, hello, ladies and gents. How are you all today? I just had to do this video today. I'm so excited. I didn't sleep last night, so I went on TikTok, and lo and behold, I discovered a facial technique that I realized I'd been doing all my life and never knew it. I am officially a facial slugger. And this video is going to be all about facial slugging. Is this a term that you've ever heard before? This morning, I told my granddaughters about it and they said, oh, Nanny, you're so funny. Yeah, we know all about slugging. I never knew it. But when I found out what it was, this 84-year-old face has been a victim of facial slugging all her life. I did the demonstration right after I took my shower this morning, but I'm going to demonstrate what facial slugging is all about. And for those of you mature ladies like myself, you might not know the term, but maybe you'll realize that you've been a slugger just like me. So if you think maybe you might be interested in this and learn about some of these TikTok hacks, stay tuned. I think you'll enjoy it. Now, let me, let me just tell you something about what facial slugging is. Facial slugging is a term that comes from, believe it or not, the snail. And do you know that oozy mucus that a snail emits as he travels along? Well, what you use on your face to slug is similar to that. And this is what it is. Vaseline. Vaseline is going to be your best friend, your slugger. And if you don't realize it, maybe you've been doing this all your life. Now, Vaseline or any petroleum jelly like it, including Aquaphor and a, a few other products that are basically similar to this, are called occlusive products. And what that means is that they're barriers. They will not clog your pores. However, they will keep in as the last layer on your face they will keep in anything that you put on before that. Like for instance, your moisturizer, your hyaluronic acid, any good serum or product. The last layer is the slugging layer, the Vaseline. And normally this is a nighttime routine. You would do this at night. And in the demonstration that I'm going to be doing, you will see how you do it and what you sleep on so that your slugginess doesn't get all over a pillowcase. It probably will, but that's okay because Vaseline is not a permanent um, stainer. It will wash out because I've been doing, I've been slugging my heels, my elbows, everything all my life. Vaseline is a healer besides being a soother. And the reason that you will want to slug your face is because after um, a few, well, they say you notice a difference after three or four nights. Now, you might want to slug <laughs> maybe three or four times a week at night. I don't know whether your husband would appreciate your, your slugging every night. I know my husband says sometimes when he goes to reach for me, I kind of slip away. He said that before. Margie? Yes. I have a slugger face. Really? If you look very closely at my nose, you can see it's broken. <laughs> Somebody slugged you? Mm -hmm. Oh, Mosey. Mosey had to do a slug joke. I know it was coming. But anyway, slugging isn't maybe something you want to do every night to your face. But it does give you, after a while, you will notice, and they do say, give it maybe a couple of weeks. And you will notice that if you had blemishes or irritations, your face will be smoother. It will glow, which I love. And I think for a mature woman, the 
That's what it's all about, the glow. And you will, you will really like doing this. You might not enjoy the term or the fact that it, you know, there is even a product out, I think, that is, uh, uh, that has some slug mucus in it, but um, Vaseline will do the trick. You don't have to get involved in, uh, in, in the snail business. So that's what this is all about. I also uh, show you my, my uh, scrunchy curl hairdo here, which is a result of the products that I showed you at the end of the video. And um, normally you can slug your hair too. You can slug any part of your body and that's the fun part about it. So when I woke up this morning after being on my my TikTok review last night for a couple of hours in the middle of the night, I thought, aha, I've got to do a slug video just to show the, the young people that this has been around for a long, long time. We might have not known what to call it, but we sure slugged. And this 84-year-old face has has been the victim of a lot of slugging, if you want to call it that. And I think it's done, it's done me good. So stay tuned. Now I've just explained a little bit about what facial slugging is for those of you who have never heard this term before. And I'm going to do a demonstration. As I said, I've been slugging all my life and didn't even know what I was doing. But this is the 84 year old face of a pretty much lifelong slugger. Now I got out of the shower about two hours ago and since I have extremely dry skin, slugging is right down my alley and I didn't even know it. The first step is to cleanse your face. After that, you want to put on uh, something like your hyaluronic acid. Now I do have a little bottle of hyaluronic acid, which I'm going to show you. And basically the hyaluronic acid is something that pulls moisture from the air into your skin. And especially if you live in a nice moist climate, uh, if, if it's a dry climate, the hyaluronic acid's not gonna help much. But after that, and you just pat that in. So I'll put a little bit of that on now. And everything is just basically patted in. I'll put this on my hand, just a little bit of it here. Maybe another, another little bit hard coming out here and I'll just pat it on my face pat it into my skin and I do this all over you can even do it on your eyelids because hyaluronic acid will not hurt you so after you pat that on it's going to be a little bit moist and if you want to do your neck that's good too you know, actually, I've been slugging my feet, my heels, my hands, my elbows all my life. So after you've done that with your hyaluronic acid, and I think The Ordinary has a nice um, hyaluronic acid. This one is from Dead Seas, I think. Then you want to put on your moisturizer. Now, if you have a favorite moisturizer, do that. I think you might know that... All my life, I've loved Nivea, and that's the other thing I've done forever and ever on my dry skin. But this time, since the Nivea is a, a greasy cream, I probably will use another moisturizer of some sort. Since I have extremely dry skin, I've always preferred something very greasy or oily. Now, I can use uh, castor oil. I always use that under my makeup. I do have the Vaseline Intensive Care, but I'm not, since I'm going to do my occlusive, which is the Vaseline on the outside, I'm going to just put just a little bit of this on. And not much because this goes a long way. Now. Let me put it on my hands, show you. And I'm going to put this on as a moisturizer. Now you use what you like as your moisturizer and you can rub it in with your finger 
All of this is done with your fingers. No brushes needed. All right. And I'll bring this down on my neck. Now, the best way to do this is if your face is a little bit moist. Now, what you're doing is you're layering here. Now, here comes the slugging part. You will use Vaseline. Yes, that's what I said. Now, this is maybe a nighttime skin routine or Aquaphor, which is basically the same thing as uh, Vaseline or any petroleum jelly. And this is uh, what they call an occlusive, which is something that is, is a barrier. It's going to keep everything that you've already put on your face in to your skin. Nothing will get out and nothing will get in with your occlusive or your Vaseline. And here's where the slugging part comes in. Now, look at that. We all know what Vaseline is. And guess why they call it a slugging process? You guessed it. It's very similar to the mucus that the slug emits as it sails along. So I'm gonna rub this in, pat it on. Now you don't have to really just put too much on. You just want to put enough to cover that outer layer of the skin and under your eyes, on your eyelids, many times your eyelids can dry out. Here we go. Now it's all on there. Now what you're expecting is a nice smooth, this process is a healing process. It's also after probably three or four times of using this, you will notice that your skin in the morning after you cleanse will be softer. It will glow. You'll notice a nice glow and any irritations that might have been on your face will probably be gone. Now this is especially for dry skin. If you have oily skin or acne prone skin, it might not work as well for you. However, this is the process. Now you say, okay, what happens when I go to bed and I lay my head down? What happens to my hair? Well, you know, you can slug your hair too at the same time. There is a slugging process, not with Vaseline, but with oils. And there's plenty of oils you can put on your hair at night, tie it up in a sock, put it up in a ponytail on top of your head, and then you will have your facial slug ready to go too. Now you say, okay, what happens to my bedding? Well, I'm gonna show you that now. This is my slugging pillow. <laughs> now you might say, what is a slugging pillow? Well, you would know that if you put your face down and most of us are side sleepers, your um, Vaseline or your slug is going to come off on your pillowcase and that can't be avoided. Now, if you wanna put a, a towel down, you can do that, but I wouldn't do that because that way my slug or my Vaseline might seep into the towel, plus the towel is rough. You wouldn't want to use your silk pillowcase, but you could. It washes off. It doesn't stain permanently, but temporarily something will be on your pillowcase. Now, this is a $1 satin pillowcase from the Dollar Tree, and I have several of these, and this is what I sleep on normally. Maybe at special times I sleep on my silk pillowcase, which obviously is the best thing for your hair and your, your skin. So that's your nighttime routine. And that's what slugging is all about. Now, if I were to take this off in the morning, now some people can go around with this on in the daytime for four or five hours if you want to. But if you have this, on your face, it does get on your hands. I wear glasses and my glasses would be so fogged up, I wouldn't know where I was going all day. But I do spend a good portion of my day with things like my Vaseline, my Nivea on my face in the daytime if I'm not going anywhere, just being around or out in the garden. So 
that's slugging it out, ladies, and have some funny stories. For years and years and years, my mother showed me, even when I was a little girl, that Vaseline is good for your face and good for your body. Now I did and still have that old flaky skin every once in a while, but I have to tell you, Vaseline, besides being a good slugger for your face, is also a healer. Years ago, when I was working at, at the home that we had where we raised all the kids, we had a lot of rose beds, and I was always cutting back the roses. And I would, at the end of the day, have thorn cuts all over my arms. I would smear Vaseline all over my arms, and in the morning, those cuts were gone. So Vaseline does have a lot of healing things to it, besides being a good slugger for your face. Now here's how I found out about the term slugging. Last night I couldn't sleep. I had some mosquito bites and I was putting Benadryl on my legs all night and I woke up about one in the morning and I thought, okay, I'm going on my iPad, which a lot of times I do when I can't sleep at night. And I like to check out TikTok. Well, that's where this came from, ladies. And someone, a couple of years ago, gave this term slugging because they thought they invented it. But as you know, your mother slugged and didn't know it. And this 84-year-old woman has been slugging all her life, didn't know she was slugging. All she knew was that Vaseline did a lot for her face. And I must admit, between the greasy Nivea and my slug face, I think it's done pretty well for me all these years. I also slug my heels, didn't know the term. I thought it was just wearing a pair of socks. And after I went through the process of uh, using the, the rollers and the scrapers on my feet to get them all nice and healed up, I would just cover my feet and my heels especially, in Vaseline. Pull on the socks and sleep that way at night. And it sure did the job. Also, it's good for elbows, knees. Vaseline is a healer. But did you really know that you could slug your face? Now, that term is a funny one. Now, slugging can also be a term for baseball. It could also be punching someone who, what else is a slugger? Don't you slug a beer down too? <laughs> However, this is also called another term that I liked. And I found as I was going through my TikTok funny little hacks, I came upon this one, facial slugging. And I thought, I got to read about this. I do want to show you the hairdos of the week. You saw the hair up while I was doing my slugging. And when I pulled down the curls, I didn't comb it. I just basically fluffed it up. And this is the hairdo that I get with scrunching using this gel. I put the gel in while my hair is wet right after the shampoo. And it's the Aussie Headstrong Volume Gel. And this helps with the curls. And I scrunch it after I put the gel in, let it air dry out in the sun, and then put some of the Aussie hairspray on. And don't comb it, just let the hair down. And this is natural scrunch. So there's another hairdo that if I don't want all the curls, I can brush it out. I put dry shampoo in and then perhaps flip it up or turn it under and it's not quite so curly. So that's the hairdos for the day. The makeup I did a get ready with me in one of the last videos and you can see the products that I put on my face and the glow. Hopefully I still have a little glow just from having my slug on for just an hour or so. I do love a glow and I think it helps a mature face an awful lot. Well, 
I want to thank you all for watching. This was kind of a fun, silly video, but honestly, it's amazing what, what TikTok will come up with. And in so many of these hacks that I have watched, I've, I've realized that a lot of them have some good ideas to them. A lot of them are silly and crazy. Some of the makeup ones. I did one where I did stripes of makeup all over my face. It was called the rainbow effect. And you put your bronzer and your concealer and your foundation on in stripes. And then took a, a spongy and put it all in. And it was supposed to go on perfectly. It sort of worked in a way, I think. That's a video a long time ago. But um, th th this has been fun, and my moose has gotten a kick out of this. And my daughters are very anxious to see Nanny's slugging video. I'll see you soon again. Thank you all for watching. And of course, you know I absolutely adore all your comments. I appreciate your love and your concern for both Moosey and myself. We're coming along great. Not out of the woods yet with Moosey. He feels great, but we got to get that little test strip to say negative real soon. Bye for now. I love you all. God bless us all.